Hey YouTube, this is Ryan here with my first beer mail. I received two packages this week, so I thought I'd share what I received and who I traded with. Uh, one being Scott on Beer Advocate. I forget his username, I should have wrote it down. But he was a good trader. I uh, sent him uh, a Lost Abbey Red Poppy, uh, Russian Rivers Consecration, Supplication, and I threw in a couple extras, including a Pine of the Elder and Ballast Point Yellowtail Pale Ale. So this is what I received from him. Um, I can't get New Glarus. They're in Wisconsin. They're not distributed out here, so I got the Spotted Cow from them. Spotted Cow is a uh, cast conditioned ale. I uh, heard nothing about it, actually a lot of these beers. So it's going to be uh, interesting trying them. Another new Glarus is the Fat Squirrel Ale. This is, I believe, their brown. Where is it? Er, no, it's at least. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that is. We'll find out. And their unplugged ale. And this is uh, where they just let their. Uh, Head brewer turn loose. Um, this is, I believe, like a barrel aged ale, maybe like an old ale along those lines. Um, two Brothers Brewing. Uh, I think they might be local to him because I think he's located in Illinois. But this is their uh, session ale. Uh, it's just it talks about being a highly drinkable ale. So we'll see. One I didn't expect, this is one he didn't tell me about, but Cigar City Brewing's Jaw Alive. It's their uh, IPA. Um, I've heard great things about this brewery. Cannot get them out in California. Uh, another very cool extra they sent in were Founders KBS. Uh, this will be my second bottle of that. I have yet to try it yet. I'm probably going to drink one of these, one of them now, and then a cellar the other one. Well, the main reason I traded with Scott was because he could get three Floyds. Three Floyds Brewing is in Indiana, and they've been brewing some of the best beers in the country at this point. I've heard a lot of great things, cannot get them outside, I believe, five states. So he sent me uh, three of their Gumball Head. It's their wheat beer. I have one in the refrigerator right now. I'm going to probably pop this open after I uh, finish this video. There's another gumball head. Another one that I've heard great things about is their Dreadnought. It's, uh, I believe they're, I don't know if it's a regular IPA or a double IPA. I can't remember anyway. I've heard great things about this beer. Um, another one, uh, there's other IPA, Seawolf. Um, love the artwork on these bottles. Um, Looking forward to trying that and you get these in the refrigerator. And the main reason for the trade and what he wanted the Red Poppy for was Dark Lord, their Russian inspired Imperial Stout. So I'll probably sit on this for a while, save it for maybe I want a landmark review like 50 or 100 or something along those lines. So thanks to Scott for those beers. Um, now, Chris Beer Geek Nation, I traded him some, uh, just mostly local stuff I could find. I'll let, he's going to do a beer mail on that, so I'll save what I sent to him for uh, his beer mail, but he sent me an Alpha King. Um, check out his review. It's on the website, beergeeknation.com. He loves this beer. I'm looking forward to trying it. It's another Three Floyds beer. Another one that he just recently reviewed is Bell's Two Hearted. Uh, he referred to it as the younger brother, so to speak, for uh, Hop Slam. So, looking forward to trying this one. And his last review was of this one, the Weyerbacher's um, Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Um, check that review out. Um, I'm probably going to sit on this for a little bit to the fall and then give it a shot then. Okay, one of the beers that I asked him specifically to get was Southern Tears Creme Brulee Stout. I saw Mark the Hoppery. Um, he did a review of this beer and it just sounded completely different and interesting and I think I'll share it with my family who are all big fans of Creme Brulee. 
So this will be a good one to share with them. Probably uh, save this one for the fall, winter time. And lastly from Chris, this is Haverhill Brewery's Snowbound Old Ale. I never even heard of this brewery. Um, so I, I'm not sure what to expect from this one. And of course Old Ales are kind of a loose term for beers. You're not quite sure what it's going to bring. So uh, thanks Chris. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, I got some great beers from him last time. A lot of Bells, Founders, uh, Trogues, Weyerbacher, all those Midwest, kind of into East Coast breweries can't get out here in California. So I appreciate it, guys. Cheers. And not only did I get some beer this past week, I also ordered some more uh, home brewing equipment. So I thought I'd share them with everyone out there. First up is my five gallon soda keg. This is a used keg. I bought it from Northern Brewer. They have some great prices, great selection on their website. These things are, uh, I haven't seen them around town as far as being able to purchase at a home brewing supply shop. So I went ahead and ordered it from them. And it came in pretty good shape. Uh, it, this is a, uh, being a soda keg, they sent it pressurized and it, and since I unpressurized it to get the lid off, I'm gonna have to uh, change out all the O-rings on this. Those are all the seals that keeps the thing pressurized, but it smelled just like Diet Coke or some kind of Coke when I opened it up. So I need to clean that out, change out the O-rings, lube them up, sanitize it as well and it should be ready for whenever I get my new batch of beer going, which hopefully will be next weekend, now that I have all this. And then with the keg, you're gonna need a couple of pieces of equipment. One is a spout, so the beer needs to come out and you need to dispense it. So this is a, a quick connect. This is, I believe, a ball locking keg. So this has a, a connector on it. There's the spout where the beer comes out. In order to carbonate the beer, you can always uh, condition it with, uh, sh prime it with sugar and let the yeast do the carbonation of the cake if you want. But the other way to get around it is just putting straight CO2 into the, the keg. So I uh, have an adapter for that. And that will hook up to hopefully a regulator and CO2 tank that I'm going to try to purchase one via Craigslist uh, tomorrow, so hopefully I'll be able to get that. And then with any uh, used keg, you're going to need uh, some brand new O-rings, so you make sure that you have a quality seal that won't be leaking out any CO2 once pressurized. And I've been meaning to buy a carboy, and after doing some research, I found that there's a company called Better Bottle and they actually make several different sized carboys but instead of being glass they're actually a, a, a very heavy duty plastic. I'm probably only going to be doing secondary fermentations in it, dry hopping and the like so I, I bought a five gallon for five gallon batches so I'm not going to have to worry too much about any air getting in. One thing I finally bought was Five Star Star Sand. This is a sanitization solution. It's a no rinse, so you can rinse out everything, not worrying about leaving anything behind that might lead to off flavors for the beer. I also bought some uh, yeast nutrient. Uh, you put that in it towards the end of the boil, and then there's some lube for lubing up the O-rings of the keg. Okay, and behind that is my cooler, which I'm gonna turn into a mash ton. Right now I'm just doing extract brews, which doesn't require mashing. You just get some a few specialty grains that you steep in the in a I use a, a nylon bag and then you add in either dry or liquid malt extract. So eventually I'm getting to all grain brewing, so I'm going to build up a uh, manifold inside of that and uh, be ready for all grain brewing, hopefully by the end of the year. So uh, that's it for the equipment. Um, oh, well, I also got a 
the brush just to clean out the, uh, the dip tube in the keg. So that's what I received this week as far as home brewing equipment. Um, like I said, if I do a batch next weekend, I will be documenting that and put it up on the channel. So please uh, comment, subscribe.